Aquarius and welcome to your monthly love tarot messages here. These messages are going to be general guys so please just keep that in mind. If you are after a personal tarot reading with myself please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address below the video here. Okay so this reading here is intended for Aquarius Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising and those cross watching as well. Okay we'll give the cards a shuffle and see um, what they're predicting for you this coming month. Okay, you've got, they're all corporate, you've got a lot of fire here, you've got a lot of fire energy, I feel like there's going to be um, a lot of passion here this month is what I'm seeing, a lot of passion, um, heightened emotions here, um, a lot of charged up energy aqua is what I'm getting, a lot of charged up energy here, um, for some of you with the four of swords here, there may be something that someone says, I feel like, with incoming communication. Okay, something that someone says, I feel like, may actually hurt you, okay? Um, it may, although you might not want to show it, but I feel like it wounds you on some level. Or something someone says might actually be an emotional trigger. But I feel like you're getting hurt by someone's words. And I feel like these words are coming from someone who does mean a great deal to you. So it sort of, it sort of catches you by surprise that they would say that. It feels like it may be something a little bit hurtful, a little bit bitter. Um, a little, it feels like, you know, because swords are a weapon. So even though it, there may not have been any malicious motivation there, um, it's just the way that it come across. I feel like you feel a little bit saddened to hear what they say, or you honestly feel hurt or even a sense of rejection by their words. Energies can be reversed. It could be that this is your communication towards someone and something that you say, although you might not mean it that way, they might take it as, oh, okay, well, ouch, that stings kind of energy. Okay, well, that hurts, you know. Um, this person shouldn't, you know, they shouldn't have said that kind of energy. So um, watch your words because, well, they are weapons, okay? Um, and once something is said, it can't be unsaid, right? There may also be a need for you to take, like, a break, okay? There needs to be some time out between you and an energy who I feel like exhausts you. I feel like this person is a bit of an emotional vampire. And I feel like every time you're around this person, they have a tendency to probably take a little bit more than they give here. So... Um, something about this connection feels like it's exhausting you if not on a physical level then surely on an emotional level and I feel like you don't really see that but if you do take the time out I feel like that will be a little bit more obvious to you um, there's quite a very strong sense of attraction here between you and a person um, it's very likely that I feel like some things may come together this month or it's very likely that someone whom you're still very much attracted to in this case it could be an ex because often when the devil shows up it does indicate an ex and an ex's energy so it could still be an ex that you, you find yourself drawn to there may not be much like else there to explore but there is this strong sexual chemistry or some strong sexual energy if you do want to go back and reopen the doors to the past um don't say i didn't warn you because i feel like um you know that might sort of that might resurface memories insecurities um it just it may not be the best idea here basically okay because you know you're, you're essentially you know reopening up doors to the past some of these doors will close shut for a reason so before you do go back and explore that energy maybe just give it a second thought if you're willing to do that great if you're you know if you feel like oh, okay i shouldn't go there listen to that intuition because it won't steer you wrong i'm seeing a lot of communication here for some of you i feel like for those of you active on social media or dating sites i'm seeing a lot of communication like there's a lot of communication in fact so much so that i feel like this person is really eager to communicate is really eager and excited to get to know you so it's like this is someone very chatty very talkative and i see like a quick texter or someone who is just i see them like sort of flooding your um, inboxes i see them constantly calling um, or the two of you are just sort of you know shooting text messages to each other back and forth a lot of communication coming 
in it could also be communication from an ex for some of you for others of you it is someone you meet entirely uh, this is someone new okay um, it could also mean that this is someone who I feel like this is someone whom you either end up meeting online or this person resides in a different um, like a different area to you or like a different even country okay I feel like there's a, a long distance aspect that comes into this uh, five of swords here there's someone bitter because this is your energy some of you may find yourselves feeling a little bit um, resentful or bitter over a certain romantic energy could be the ex okay um, just bear in mind that for some of you I feel like with the devil's energy here, I do feel like, you, you know, I spoke about someone being an emotional vampire, okay? It could be this energy that maybe lets you down, okay? Or it could be that the ex here comes back into the picture. And look, maybe they, you know, they promise you all these glistening promises here full of potential, but they don't actually fulfill it. And then you're once again left disappointed. I don't know, I just feel like there's this sense of resentment or brooding energy. When you're in that um, kind of a, like, energy field, it's probably best that you... Don't go out and make decisions because I feel like they could lead to regret here, okay? Um, I'm also seeing that around you, I feel like you may have some competition. So if there's like a romantic interest, maybe someone that you're talking to, um, and I'm not saying that they're not into you because they are, I feel like they're quite very strong sexual energy here with the devil, right? So they're very attracted to you, they're very drawn to you, um, insects to a flame kind of energy. However, I'm just saying that Heads up, you may not be the only person that, they, you know, that they're talking to. Or this person does have, like you have competition. This person has admirers around them. They could even have an ex around them who's still in the picture and who's still very interested here. I see someone making a comeback here for a lot of you and I do feel like it's an ex. It could be someone that's ghosted you in the past. It could be someone that has ended things very abruptly with you. Um, the reason why this person has sort of ended things very quickly and not really officially is what I'm getting is because they sort of wanted to keep it open that if ever in the future they did want to go back and revisit this you know here they come back in and I feel like this is an energy who doesn't really take accountability this is someone whom you ended things with very quickly and then all of a sudden this person is just going to re-enter your life probably just as quickly as they've entered your life here okay uh, I don't think that they're, they're not taking accountability they're going to act like nothing's happened here so if you want to call them out I feel like you owe it to yourself, you know, to hold yourself accountable and them accountable as well for their actions. Because if they did it once, guys, they're likely to do it again. Um, okay, I don't, you might be put in a situation where with the King of Swords, I feel like someone here is going to be very brutal. Or you might have to be very brutal with someone. Um, what do I mean by that? I feel like there's a conversation here that's going to take place. Um, and I feel like you really need to, to get down to the bottom of something here and you might have to really um, be blunt with this person because I feel like like no embellishment just get to the bottom of it okay they might this is how they might come across okay and this person might actually have a conversation with you in this kind of energy where look maybe they're not that I mean to be blunt or that I mean to be short but I feel like they want to get to the bottom of something with you or this is your energy you're going to be taking on this energy here this month and that's interesting but I feel like you'll have this you'll have this opportunity to clear something with this person okay if there's any confusions clear it up if there's any misunderstandings clear it up if there's any miscommunication clear it up with the king of swords energy that's your opportunity to you know clear yourself of any distractions or of any misunderstandings here uh, king of pentacles for a lot of you I do see that there is a, an, uh, a love uh, like a romantic energy here that is coming in for some of you this person is new for others of you you know if you are romantically linked with someone I feel like this month there's an opportunity to really sort of um, further this connection along okay so some of you I feel like you're going to be meeting this person's parents for others of you there are things that this person is going to do throughout the month that is going to sort of validate for you that yeah this is your person or yeah you know you this is going to eventuate into a relationship and you're not necessarily wasting your time here so for a lot of you the king of pentacles is a very stable kind of energy and i feel like you know you are building a very strong foundation with someone here all right guys and these are your messages i just want to thank you all for watching for listening please show your support by subscribing to this channel liking sharing commenting i will be sharing with you more tarot love messages so stay tuned thanks guys again and bye for now